A subscriber asked me if I would do uh, a demonstration of the, the line and wash, but I don't do a lot of line. I, I certainly make a lot of marks with the ink. Um, I'm not really architectural. I, I do buildings and figures um, as incidentals to a landscape. But uh, I'll, I'll show you nonetheless. I started this one yesterday and I, and I was having a bad painting day yesterday. The sky was all going wrong. So I'll use this bit of paper, which is on my easel. I'm just, just a simple, I've done it a couple of times before. I'll, I'll just do a version of it. I'm using a, uh, a stick, sharpened stick, a bottle of black water, waterproof ink. And I'd probably use a bit, of, a bit of brushwork in it as well for texturing grasses and stuff. So I'll put that aside. Oh, and I'll, I'll try and do the, the painting as well, if we have time. So I'll, I'll dig my my uh, stick in the pot of ink. Try and keep your fingers out of it because it's uh, well, it's waterproof, it's black waterproof ink. So I'll just do a just a, a tree, a tree or two. You can use this all parts of the stick. And you get lovely accidents and I don't really want it to go too solid here but, but it's, it, it's a bit hit and miss. A great user of the stick was Edward Wesson, who, was, who, who died sadly in the early 80s. And I, uh, I think I mentioned on... Uh, one of my videos that I remember a demonstration he did for the art group I belong to. And he had been to a place in Surrey for the day. He lived in Surrey. He went to East Grinstead, somewhere around that way. I remember him saying, I'm sure it was him. He did a, a barn, a tied barn, red roof. And, and he came to us in the evening and demonstrated it uh, with uh, ink work. And, and you, you could hardly see the uh, the ink work he put on it by the time he got the colours on but it was lovely painting he was he made it look easy so he just had some fun with it and so some little sticks coming up here just, just getting the landscape just on the, in a hedgerow coming down to a, to a bit of a gate it just just indicates some paths, the pathway, and then the gate across the five bar gate, one, two, three, four, five, don't want to put a six bar gate in, uh, on a bit of a fence, all broken down, Rough. I'll put the rest of that in with the uh, with a brush. So we're going across here, bits of bits of grass this side. I'll put the, the gate off centre. Though we'll have a path coming down there. Then we'll. I, I, I wonder if I'll put a wall here, but I'm not going to do anything as naff as. I just want to repeat what I've got on the other side, but do a bit more detail. It's all hedgerow sort of jumble. Nothing of any detail, just... I'm not going to do any buildings. Just, just a hedgerow. Painting it this side up a bit higher than the other so they don't compete. Sort of hazel trees stunted. Just have, have fun with it, just, just let your, your, your fingers loose, let them go. I'll show you what I mean by using a bit of brushwork in this. In a minute when I've done the calligraphy on these trees here. 
eventually the, the, the point of the stick gets a bit hard. So you can just rub it on a bit of rough sandpaper and it become more absorbent and you get some better texturing. Right, just using areas of the edge of the stick here. One thing, when you come to put water on, make sure the ink is dry because it will run. All over your finger. Just keep it well away from your clothes. This is all going to be lost with when I put the paint on. Well, not all of it, but. If it all got lost, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? No, just, just fun. I, I, I'll put a blue background in this. Just have fun with it. That wouldn't go if, if this wasn't so, so smooth now that that black mark wouldn't be quite so obvious but we'll uh, exploit that and just do the shadow area in there. Another great uh, ink worker was uh, Roland Hilda who's a great inspiration to me I, and he, he did his most of his work with brush but Edward Wesson he, he used a stick mostly just to sharpen that stick or anything at hand to make a mark, but he was a brilliant, brilliant draftsman. That architectural track, buildings, absolutely wonderful. Just a few glasses here. Just random. But we could even turn this into a snow picture. Oh, let's do that. Uh, let's uh, put a couple of figures in, coming up to the uh, the gate. Think about figures, they need to be in scale. Otherwise, when you've got all the nice big trees, you tend to do the figures too small. And the trees would be about 100 foot high. Uh, well, Oh, that's that. That's it. That's nothing great there, is it? Well, let's, let's just show you a little bit of ink. I've got in that little tray I showed you that little uh, lid, plastic lid. I, I've put a bit of bit of ink in there, and I've, I've got this just this old old number three rigger. So I'll just put that in there, and well, just use bits of it, the the flat of it, just for a bit of. Look at those glasses, look. Of course, like everything, you can overdo all this. But just as a an example of of what you can accomplish with some simple tools. Oh. Right, I reckon, oh, we'll even sign that, what am I saying? Right, there we are, I'll muck my water up, make it all nice and black. I'm going to uh, dry this off now with a bit of uh, tissue. And then I'll carry on with a bit of hair dryer 
uh, you can see from my head that I don't need a headline. So I'll just get all that nice and blotted off. Every man. Then I'll, I'll finish it off best I can with, with the dryer. I can't see any damp bits on there. Right, hair dryer. I'll wet it all over. I don't want to disturb the bit of the sky that actually survived my bad temper yesterday. Right. So we'll put a bit of a lowering clouds of the Payne's Grey and Ultramarine. And a bit of a lizard. So a nice bit of heavy snow laden stuff here. So with the shadows, so I've got a bit of light coming from there. Maybe. Yeah, why not? Bit of bit of birds birds in there. Okay. So a bit of reflection on of the sky on, on the landscape there. Okay, give a bit of a dry. You're fine, but the, 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 the water goes down and seems to stop on the waterproofing. So I want a bit of a background there now, so blue, a bit of a lizard, show a little bit of distance in there. Surrey Hills in the distance. Now you've noticed I've done some painting to the Surrey Hills, I haven't had too many views. Most people from America won't, won't know it, but it's an area near me which is a, a beautiful manicured part of um, south, south East England between the North and South Downs, an absolutely beautiful area with all sorts of expensive buildings, cottages, uh, farms, Hills, mostly owned by, by a public trust called the National Trust. It's a, a beautiful area, lovely pubs. I'll just try that off. So I, I, I'm using um, a green made from, uh, from burnt umber, lemon yellow, as you my palette and Payne's Grey. I believe it was a favourite way of making greens for Edward Westerns. I don't use tube greens. I might in oil painting but with watercolours and mix them up. But but um, uh, uh, an artist called uh, called uh, Alan Owen is demonstrating Edward Western techniques on his site. Alan Owen, oh, uh, Edward, uh, Edward Western. And he's very good and he hasn't got many demos on there, but he, he described this particular green. I'm not going to use a lot of it because a lot of the photos would have died off. But just get nice and dark in there.
too much. Now I'm going to put some some nice uh, burnt sienna in there. Nice sort of warm colour. Come across there. Oops, no, don't want that. Lift that out. My cake's going there. All right. Uh, so we'll, we'll put in some. That snow really reflects the sky, so we've got the light coming that way, so the shadow is going to come down here. So we'll put the shadows in. So I'd use uh, light red and ultramarine. Uh, we'll just have coming up there. And we'll have a, a shadow coming in from. from here okay coming up there show show the shape of the uh, of the land and here we'll, we'll put in some shadow In here, and shadow in the snow here by these grasses. There, nice and dark in there. Put in some some dry brush on on these uh, trees here. Warm. Colors, burnt sienna, burnt sienna, and Payne's grey. Try not to repeat the pattern that I just had there. Uh, we'll just darken that side. Okay, so that. Do the gates now, just the grey, with my inch brush. Look at with the, inch, the half inch. Posting. Get some, or uh, we'll connect them up a bit better than that. Bit of, bit of shadow there. Very thick oak posts here. Just trying to show them a bit dark. Very useful brushes, these. Uh, nothing. Don't like that one 
I'm going to twist that down. Bit of tissue and a damp brush. So a simple picture. I'll just do a little bit of rigor work. To show more of these. Branches and twigs and things. Just to put in a bit of trying to show where he's walked. It's just about done. You can use the side of your rig, that's a, to create texture. Just to strengthen that. There we are, I think that's about all I can do on that one. Uh, I don't have any birds, so we call that uh, uh, Line and Wash Surrey Hills. Um, I, I, so I, I've done what I said I'd do. I, I've um, done the drawing first, shown you how I've done it. Well, I've done this particular one, but what I do today, I might do different tomorrow. We're, we're free agents doing this, but I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.